Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Have you been? Welcome to my collection of bunnies. I've also got my Easter bunny ears. We'll see how long I get away with them because the dog really loves them and every time I put them on he like barks at me. So we're going to see how long we can wear these before he has a breakdown about it. But if you know me, you know that I love Easter. You know I love Easter chocolate and I don't care what Ron says, he's wrong. Um, Easter chocolate is exciting and this is my collection of basically every bunny you could find in a supermarket in the UK. Um, or the ones that are local to me anyway. We didn't go, so Waitrose and John Lewis don't have their own bunny. If the partners watching could put a word in. Um, but we also didn't go to Hotel Chocolat because that's actually like a chocolate shop and that's kind of their, you know, whole MO. So we didn't think it was fair to include them. But we went to several uh, supermarkets. I had Claire helping, I had uh, Beryl helping and we have managed to get, I think, one of pretty much every kind of bunny that you can buy. So my plan is to go through them with you just to show you where you can get them from, how much they're going to cost you, and then we're going to do a taste test. Because, yes, it's all well and good if you can buy this bunny, you know, for 89p, but if it tastes bleh, then you're not going to buy it, are you? So... We will go through the selection on the table. I'll talk to you a little bit about where they're from and how much they were. Okay, so we will start with the honourable mentions first. And in terms of honourable mentions, I mean these guys. So this is a Malteser bunny and a Kit Kat bunny. They are like 60p each. They're normally two for a pound if you're lucky. They're obviously not actual bunnies, but, you know, they are, you know, they're worth a mention. Some of my favourites. So, when you think about Easter bunnies, you will probably be thinking of this guy. Now, this is the Lint Gold Bunny. Um, you know, signature bell, signature, like, little ribbon thing. Um, this is the normal largest size that you can buy in a supermarket. Um, this is the 200 gram bunny. Um, if you know me, then you'll know I have a bit of a problem uh, with limp bunnies because I like to just have one of every size. And they do actually go up to a kilo size bunny. He's quite expensive. But this is the standard, like, biggest bunny that you'll find in most supermarkets. And this will cost you four pounds. Now, lint is a very expensive, it's high end chocolate. Um, but. You know, I think it's worth it, but hey ho. So this is the two, uh, 200 gram bunny. He then comes in a slightly smaller size. So this is the 100 gram bunny. And if you see the difference between the two, um, you know, a bit of a difference. Now these do come in different flavors as well. So the, oh, we've had it, we've had a Cadbury accident. So this is the milk chocolate bunny, obviously. Um, they also then do a white chocolate bunny, signified by his little yellow label. Uh, they also do this one, which is the hazelnut bunny. Now, they don't do this everywhere, I'll be honest. Um, and I won't be eating this one. This one is earmarked for Claire, because every year I buy her one of these. Um, it kind of is a little, like, Ferrero rocher tasting, but we'll get to that later. Um... But these are all 100 grams um, in the different flavours. They also do a dark one, but they only do the dark one in the 200 gram. They don't do the dark one in the 100 gram. We then have this cute little guy. He is a 50 gram bunny. And if you think, oh, that's cute and it couldn't get cuter, I'm here to tell you that it could. Because look at this guy compared to this guy i actually don't know how much he weighs i think he weighs like literally like 10 grams or something it's so small this one was like 50p this one was like one pound 50 i think the um 100 grams were two pound 50 so you can buy lint in a variety of sizes um ranging from four pound to 50p different flavors you know the standard that is the standard chocolate bunny in in my opinion in in that's you know so let's move on to other just 
brands before we go into the supermarket line and compare them. So this year, Cadbury's have got their Easter bunnies in the Peter Rabbit style. So this one is 50 grams and this one is 100 grams. This one was two pound and this one was a pound. Um, the thing about foil wrapped bunnies like this is you may have seen online the Christmas Santas that look like a Santa when they're in their foil wrapping and then when you take the foil wrapping off, they look dodgy, like they do. So I will show you a little bit later on when we unwrap them uh, what these look like underneath, just to check that they don't look, you know, dodge. Also, in terms of brand bunnies, we have the Kinder Bunnies. So this is the smallest Kinder Bunny. Uh, this guy is 55 grams. Um, then we move up to this guy, and he is 75 grams, but he also has an egg inside you can you can hear it this one jumped and then you get the largest size which is this one which is 110 grams now he feels like he could have an egg inside but there's no noise so he probably doesn't so if you're wanting that real kinder experience you kind of want to go for this mid guy because he actually has the kinder egg surprise in the middle whereas these two are just kinder chocolate so it depends what you're looking for really while we're on that we've got the smarties bunny and the smarties bunny and the milky bar bunny are two very similar characters this one kind of looks actually more like a cat i feel because he has like the little whisker situation going on that makes him kind of look more like a cat but you know um and this is the white chocolate one these have Smarties and Milky Bar buttons in them, which is great if you love Smarties. Like Rich will love eating that one later. And these are like super cheap. These were like a pound. Um, I don't, were they even a pound? Maybe they weren't. Maybe they were less than that. But anyway, this is like, I love these. I know that they're not like your traditional Easter bunny shape, but I do love these because I like white chocolate and I love Smarties, especially when they're mini Smarties. Bring those back, please, because we need them. Um, I'm just trying to have a look and see if we've got any other brand ones. Ah, yes. Now, I'm gonna do him last. We're gonna do this one next. So this is the Thornton's Bunny. I don't know if you can see because of the glare from the ring light, but this is the Thornton's Bunny. He's got a little clover on him. He's very cute. He is 170 grams. And my Thornton's bunny was... I should make better notes and have them behind the camera. This was £2. Which... So it's £2 for 170 grams. So if you compare that to the uh, 100... And, what is this? Just 100 grams for £2.50. You know, lint is still going to be... I mean, lint's probably the most expensive, like, rabbit you can buy. But... Thornton's is one of those brands. I used to love it um, when they used to have the Thornton stores and you used to be able to go and then you could personalise your egg and have like your name written on it and icing. That was super cute. Um, what next? This. Now, <laughs> this is a Ferrero Rocher squirrel and it is a chocolate shell of a squirrel with little pieces of hazelnut in it basically exactly the same as like the outside of a ferrero rocher um he's very cute and obviously he's a squirrel because of the nuts which makes sense and he's kind of trying to get into the bunny theme this is quite nice i really quite like this um but again it's not something i couldn't eat all of it to be honest because it's got a lot of hazelnuts in it so yeah i might i might have a little bit but i can't eat it all in one go and in terms of the last like different shaped bunny before we get onto these guys here we have this one which is a tall boy bunny um and this one is from Lidl. he was 79p very cute made by the favorina brand it's just a hollow chocolate bunny he weighs 125 kilos and you can't really see him against my backdrop because he's the same color um purple and blue seem to be the color for all of the supermarket um bunnies if they haven't gone for like the traditional gold or silver um blue and purple seem to be the most popular color but there were quite a few pink ones as well if you need those so let's get on to battle of the very similar looking bunnies 
if we're honest. So before we get started, this guy. So this is a unicorn and it's a white chocolate unicorn and this is from Aldi. Now my mother-in-law bought me this. She didn't even know I was doing a video about all of the different chocolates that you could get but she bought me this um, because I was having a rough time. She was just like here's a white chocolate unicorn to make you feel better. Um, but this is super cute but it does kind of have less of that rabbit shape and more of the um, reindeer shape you know like the christmas lint reindeer shape that kind of thing um we did try to do a video about that at christmas and i did try and go and get all the different reindeers from all the different supermarkets but some of them just didn't have any and then we just ended up eating them before i could make the video so it's so lucky that all of these bunnies are still alive honestly um so m s have the most original looking bunny shape um from the supermarket bunnies that are trying to try to be lint bunnies um these are just called the MS food baby bunnies it's just swiss milk chocolate in both but it comes in blue and it comes in pink and these were two pounds each um so they're just slightly cheaper than the 100 gram lint um, and they are 100 gram as well so it would be quite interesting to see how these compare to um the lint because obviously they are a swiss chocolate and they are you know sort of a higher end supermarket brand so we've got the two from MS. now you would be forgiven for being confused by this guy who is the purple bunny from sainsbury's and this guy who is the purple bunny from tesco because they look pretty much identical so <laughs> they have both weighed in at 100 grams they are both purple i bought a purple one from each store um sainsbury's was one pound 50 for their bunny and tesco's was one pound 78 so it was actually more expensive to buy the tesco one than the sainsbury's one but they i mean they're very similar you can also get them in both places in blue obviously and again very similar looking bunnies would not be surprised if they were actually made in the same place we then move on to asda now asda have two right i think they're both well, i don't know i think they're both milk chocolate bunnies but one is in this white wrapper with these little flowers on and one is in this brown one again with the little flowers on they've got that very typical bunny shape um if you compare them in size the one from tesco very similar size again because they are 100 grams now i will do a little bit of reading later because they all say like which supermarket they're from but they don't say exactly where they're made but i would put money on some of these being made in the same you know in the same place it'll be interesting to see what they look like once they've got their wrappers off coming in again with bunnies that look very similar You've got Morrison's. They only do the one style of bunny, just this little brown one. We have two because I don't like to have them on their own. That makes me feel sad. Um, but the Morrison's one, don't judge me. Um, the Morrison's one, did I even write that down? Hmm, no, I don't think I did. Okay, I will have to look up the price of the Morrison's one because I don't actually have that to hand. Um, this is a B&M bunny. It's a pink one. And actually, she looks really cute. Um, I'm trying to learn how to show things in front of this camera without just constantly focusing on my face. But she looks cute, though. She's 140 grams. Um, so she's actually a bit wider um, in comparison to some of the other 100 gram bunnies. That's where she's obviously getting her her extra weight, her extra thickness from. These are really cute actually, and they come in a, in a bunch of spring colors. I'll put a photo here because I did actually take a photo of all of them together in B&M. But Claire picked up this guy for me on her travels when she knew I was filming this video. And then last but not least, we have Aldi and Lidl. Now, Lidl obviously, you know, did the um, oh, tall pink guy. But they also do this cute little silver guy. He is, mm -hmm. yeah, he's 100 grams. He's a deluxe milk chocolate bunny, according to Lidl. Of course, again, I have to, just for safety. Um, 
The thing that I'm not too keen on for this bunny, and I realise I'm looking a lot in the viewfinder if you wonder what I was looking at. Um, here's a cute bow, very cute. Um, but the eyes on this guy are a bit terrifying. Um, he just, he looks a bit scared. Um, and, <laughs> and the front ways view is even more terrifying so yeah so this is a little terrifying but these were 79p so these were actually the i'm just checking of all the bunnies and the 100 gram bunnies i'm talking about these are actually the cheapest um at 79p so, oh no okay so then we also have Ah, so then we have two different types of bunnies from Aldi. So we have this, which is the Mossa Roth, and he comes with his own little stretchy band. Um, but they also have the Dairy Fine Bunny. So the Dairy Fine Bunny is the um, milk chocolate equivalent to the white chocolate unicorn. Um, and this is a milk chocolate bunny. So this one actually was 80p, so only a penny more than the one from Lidl. But this one was £1.29. So it's still definitely cheaper than the Lint Bunny and way less scary to look at from the front than the um, little one but again 100 grams so when you compare these bunnies if I literally just grab one from each store because obviously as you guys know I have several from each one because you know we, we nearly had a casualty um, they all look very similar in their size in their packaging um, you know but we've kind of got a big range because actually when you look at these because they're a thinner chocolate and I mean all of them are the same size compared to the lint original 100 gram bunny the lint is obviously smaller but it is a thicker chocolate so you know we're ranging from two pound fifty to three pounds for the lint gold bunnies because I think the hazelnut one was three pound to literally where's he gone where's my boy Oh no, <laughs> literally to 79p for creepy face look creepy. So there's quite a large price difference just in these 100 gram bunnies. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some of the wrappers off and then I'm going to show you them without their wrappers on just so we can see what they actually look like because I'm almost convinced that most of these are made in the same place. So I am now going to open a, quite a few of these and I'm just going to put them in random bowls and then I'm going to get Richard to try them and tell me if he knows which one is which. Um, what I'm going to do just quickly um, is I'm going to take a picture. Oh, oh, beautiful. I've taken a picture so that I know which one was in which bowl just because otherwise... I'm going to forget because they all look the same. Um, and let's have a look and see what you think to... Right, so... I'm just opening this boy. Okay, I'm going to put him in his bowl. So he was the... That one. I wish I'd bought a pen. I'm sure I have a pen somewhere always got a pen somewhere I'm gonna sort of um, this is not going well right so I'm gonna write okay so that's one out of its packaging I'm interested to see how this one compares um, because on the outside these guys look exactly the same and honestly on the inside I've got to be careful because obviously I don't want to melt them but that's the same guy like that's the same guy um they even have the same ribbing on the bottom so I'm convinced that both of those are made in the same place so we'll see you know you know this guy <laughs> he's much more difficult to get in 
definitely a different shape to the last two. You definitely won't be able to melt him in the microwave because you might end up with like the metal everywhere because the wrapper is not great. Yep, I've got a really itchy nose like a bunny. Um, this guy, obviously again, really individual, unique shape. But same situation with the wrapping. wrapping in there. Oh, that really hurt. <laughs> I'm just creating a little pile of rubbish over here. This guy. Oh, this one's cute. Again, he has the little ribbing on the bottom. But if you can actually see him, I don't know if it's going to come up on camera, but he's got a little eye and he's got actual like fur markings very cute it smells so sweet on this table right now i've opted for the small because i don't really want to eat the big one right now and when he's all smashed up which isn't good enough this one again similar shape to some of the others so we're gonna see these are actually quite easy to open the ones that wrap like this Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this one, ribbing, face. It's, it's the same bunny. Um, let's have a look at this one. I don't want to ruin everyone's dreams, but um, this one. These bunnies are all made in the same place. There are only, so there are now four on this table that I think are exactly the same money. Okay, that's interesting to me because this bunny, this guy, he is, again, cute little eye detail, cute little, um, you know, bunny rabbit design, but... Okay, no, that's fine. They do look very similar, but you can actually see the difference in the chocolate. I don't know if it was coming across on camera, but they are definitely two different colours, so that's fine. I'm going to pause this, I'm going to smash these bunnies, and then I'm going to get Richard to tie them and tell me if he knows which one is which. You might need to get me the rolling pin to smash these, because I don't think I'm going to smash them with my hands. No, you don't get to do it. Your weapon of choice, milady. Thanks. It seems a little sad considering how careful I was to make sure that these bunnies came home and didn't break because I needed them to look good for the camera. Oh no. Okay, can you come grab this? Yeah. <laughs> I'm licking the chocolate off of the rolling pin. Oh my god. I should put that as the thumbnail. Disgusting. Ramble in, read it. Anyway. Um, mookbang. Mookbang. <laughs> a chocolate mookbang. Um, anyway, you guys probably won't get that. And if you don't get it, then don't worry. That's all I'm saying. If you don't get it, don't worry. So I'm going to swap out and swap in with Rich. And then I'm going to see if he can tell which bunny is which. Are you ready? I think so. You think so? I think so. Okay, so we will number the balls. Okay. Um, from this side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine balls, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to jump in, grab my thing. I'm going to write down what you think each one is. And what it actually is. So am I just saying this is cheap, this is expensive? No, I want you to see if you know oh, where it's from. I'm not going to know where they're all from. I don't eat that many bunnies. Well, you know. Um, Which one did you have? <laughs> I tried this one. Okay, so that's... Straight in at number three. Straight in at number three. Um, it's cheap and it's small. Yes. Oh, 
where were the little blue and pink ones from? Because that's what I think that is. That was M&S. M&S. I think that's M&S then. Okay. I'll go for number one next. Yep. That has no takes compared to that. That's very odd. Trying to see if I can find some rabbit features. Cheat a little bit. <laughs> no, no cheating. <laughs> I don't know. This one's a little bit sweeter. Okay. Which probably means just a little bit cheaper. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know where it'll be from. Um, Take a guess. I think this is the... Um, I think that's Mosa Roth or Tesco's. Okay. Is that a limp bunny? I'm not telling you, you've got to tell me. Okay, what I would like you to do, I think what is going to be easier, stop looking at them for features, stop. <laughs> stop, you're cheating. Okay. Right, what I want you to do is there are one, two, three, four. Oh. So, so there are nine. Okay, so I want you to tell me, of those nine, which one is the most expensive and which one is the cheapest? Based on taste only. This one I don't think tastes very nice at all. That is number seven. Yep. I... Uh, and for me, that probably pushes it more along the expensive line because... Okay. <laughs> if it... The more expensive it is, the worse it tastes, in my opinion. Okay. Um, I think uh, one and two are dirt cheap. Okay, yeah. Um, seven is on the more expensive side. Six is probably slightly more expensive. Um, five is uh, middling to low. That has barely any flavour, so that must be cheap. Okay, so... Most expensive. I think this one. Number seven. Yeah. Okay, and... There it goes seven, six... Wait. Yeah, seven, six. Hold on, let me write this down. Seven, six... It might be easier to just tell me which one you think is the cheapest. This one. Four. Okay. I think it's that one followed by these two. Okay. Then it's like five. Yeah. Then these two. And then the more expensive ones are these three. Okay, so I four. Think. So number five, you put... Five, six and seven, I think, are on the more expensive end. Okay. And I think one, two and three are on the cheaper end. Okay. But I think that's cheap. Uh-huh. And these two are kind of mid-range. Okay. So, in number one, you said that was cheap. Yeah. That is the Sainsbury's bunny. Tastes cheap. So, that is okay because that was, when I unwrapped it, incredibly similar to the Tesco bunny and the Asda bunny and the Morrison's bunny. So, Tesco's was £1.78. That was number two. Um, Asda was number four. Hey. And Morrison's was number five. Oh, okay. 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 You told me that you thought that number seven yeah. was the most expensive bunny. It wasn't, was it? Number seven is actually the cheapest bunny. It is the little 79p <gasps> bunny. Really? But it tasted so... Well, I mean, maybe it was too dirt cheap then. Yeah, so that is the little 79p bunny. And what I find really funny is that you thought that the 
The, the cheapest one was the most expensive. And you thought number four was the cheapest, but that was the Morrison's mid-range one. And the one that you also thought was quite low range, number three, you thought that was M&S, and that's actually the lint bunny. Oh, it's a small lint bunny. Yeah. Oh, you fooled me. I fooled you. So if you had to pick, where would, what would you do? Where would you place your money? Um, well, I wouldn't put my money on this. That's minging. 79p, not worth spending. No, I don't think so. I wasn't massively keen on that one either. That's the M&S one. Is that the M&S one? Yeah. No, I wasn't massively keen. Um, these two are fine. Okay, so those are the Aldi um, Dairy Fine and Mosseroth. Both of them the same. You can slightly tell. Mosseroth. Um, yes, Mosseroth was number nine and the Dairy Fine was number eight. I'm being ag aggressed by a dog. Okay, um, I liked these ones. Okay, so actually <clears throat> at the front you have number one, number two, number three, uh, number four and number five, sorry, are all, in my opinion, from the same, the same factory. Because yeah. they all look exactly the same once they are unwrapped. They all just have different wrapping. And obviously number three was the lint bunny that you would normally have yeah, hated I, from I the liked... start. So I would order it like... You actually get to come down here because you're slightly in my favour. Oh, you favor. prefer the lint to the lint. I didn't like either of them. Okay. Oh, I would do that. So, so, in your opinion, the supermarket bunnies, the Sainsbury's, the Tesco, the Morrison's and the Asda, or where you would put your money if you had to, yep. um, you would stay away from the very cheap, terrifying lint uh, little bunny that was yeah that was the one that you hated yeah and you're not really keen on the expensive chocolates anyway so no I think these ones see that's cheap and taste me to me and then these two are kind of on the richer side I like cheap wow <laughs> sugary you know crap uh, so hence I tend to go for the supermarket ones. Also, you know, this was probably about two pound, and one of these is probably about one pound. So, in yeah. my opinion, that's a better economy because I can buy two of them. So okay. there you go. That's my opinion. Oh, well, thank you for joining us on our video today and telling us what you thought of the chocolate. Um, you're free to go, and you can take whichever bunny you want with you. I've eaten so much chocolate. I don't know if I can eat any more. <laughs> <laughs> so I am really glad that we did this challenge and with Rich because he is very funny about his chocolate bunnies and what he does and doesn't like um which one did he say was the bad one this one is it this one yep are you sure yep oh yeah he's the creepy eye bunny Okay, yeah, no, that's not great. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> you don't like my cheap and cheerful chocolate? No. So you would swap the end ones over with these ones? Controversially, although I think they are made in the same factory, I actually prefer the one from Tesco than the one from Sainsbury's, even though I'm pretty sure they're the same bunny. Not keen on the Asda one. They might use the same mould, but technically be from different places. You just don't like supermarkets. The Morrison's one is not good. It has a weird nutty taste afterwards. Um, I realise you guys are just watching me eat chocolate now, which, you know, some people would pay for, I'm just saying. I'm not so bothered about either of the ones from um, Aldi, actually. I think they're both quite nice. I would... So I love a lint bunny, obviously. 
Um, I really quite like the one from M&S as well because I think it's very similar to the Limp Bunny in taste. I would prefer to spend my money, no one buy the Limp Bunny, uh, the Limp Bunny, the Little Bunny. It's terrifying to taste as much as it is to look at. So just, it's not worth it, don't do it. But you can go to Aldi and buy either of the Dairy Fine or the Mosser Roth because actually they're both really nice if you're looking for a cheaper, like not everyone's gonna spend four pound on a Lint Bunny because don't get me wrong, I'm not, you know, I know it's extra, but that's kind of my thing. Um, if you are not as extra as me and you're really not fussed about Lint, the M&S is really nice um, if you want a higher end, but if you're looking for a lower budget, I think that the Aldi wins because to me, they've got a good chocolate taste. They don't taste chemically. Like to me, the supermarket ones don't taste as good. They don't taste as chocolatey as the Aldi ones. So I would say if you're going to spend your money, don't go to Lidl, go to Aldi or just stick with the Lint Bunny. But it's up to you. I'm also pro Mosseroff. I'm just going to keep eating this um, limp bunny now. They'd be better if they were in the fridge. Yeah. That's disappointing. Refrigerated. Mm.